Now let's talk about hoarding. Well, we don't really want to hoard. That's not the best word to use. We don't want to take away from people that they can use. Absolutely. But there are certain things that you almost need to be in the mindset of that as a person, you want to hoard them. Have as much of these as possible before hyperinflation kicks in. Here are 15 things, but there are so many more things you can think about. Yeah, but we have to start somewhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at our list of things that you should hoard before hyperinflation. Canned food. Have a stockpile, a big stockpile of canned food. It lasts forever. It does. Yeah, and again, I always suggest, I always say this, I sound like a broken record, canned meats are your best friend because you'll need the proteins, lots and lots of proteins. Do you have proteins in your baby food? No, and this won't <laughs> last forever. This will only last for a little bit. And if you don't have a baby, it's not necessary. But it could still be delicious. It could be yummy. And then um, canned. I did can some jellies. So. Right, so not just canned food, but canned, canned foods. <laughs> lighters. You cannot get enough lighters. Even if you just go for the cheapies, 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 cheapies. In fact, I just stocked up these at Walmart. We did. A lot of them. Because you can't go wrong. These things will, well, I mean, honestly, if they get super wet or something, maybe a problem. But these things actually will do very well. If you're not going to get lighters like this, then you might want to get lighters like this. That's or is this, no, this one's, this, this one. yeah, you like these ones. But they're not refillable. Yeah, those are for the dollar store. I like the refillable ones. Yeah, and a t torch lighter too. And so besides lighters, I would also recommend butane. lots of cans of butane. We just picked up a four pack, didn't we? I think so. Yeah, the local store had a sale on them. So we get these and both of these are refillable, which are torch lighters, which actually goes really well. And then matches. Matches, yeah. They're just sometimes easy to grab, so. Exactly. So, I mean, having a wide variety of stuff, especially waterproof matches, which are kind of pricey, Personally, I'd rather just use extra money and get tons of these. But either way, you cannot go wrong with a ridiculous amount of lighters. Seeds. We have a family channel as well, and we talked about all the seeds that we purchased and ones that we're going to use this year for growing. But as you can see, there's a huge selection of them. Some of our favorites, of course, are from MI Gardener that produces them here in Michigan. Um, just make sure that when you do purchase them that they grow in your area because yeah. banana plants won't grow up here in Michigan. What? Yeah, and if you actually want to check out our family channel, you're always welcome to follow along and see what our family's like. It's just a day in the life of what we do. There's a link to that in the description below. Medical supplies. We have a ton of medical supplies. Um, we have them all over in different things. This one is for our van that we carry. Um, it has lots of things in it. You guys can pick up one of those or um, a more advanced one. Yeah, this actually isn't a medical kit. This is actually a surgery kit. Um, so you have, sometimes you have to do surgery. Well, I have, but um, stuff, if crap hits the fan and there are no more doctors to help you out, having kits like this would be helpful. And I know you're probably in your mind like, what do I buy? When it comes to surgery kits, we'll talk about that. There's, a, there's, It's actually quite advanced. As far as first aid kits, you can get some basic ones. This one came from CVS. Mm -hmm. um, I always suggest that you have multiple kits. Mm -hmm. Find out what's in one kit, how many Band-Aids, how many 4x4s, four four et cetera, and then buy them in bulk so you can actually make all the kits yourself and yes. you'll save a lot of money that way. Pencil boxes are great for that. Yeah. Toiletries. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, naturally whitening toothpaste. Um, Whatever you use, toothpaste, toothbrushes, you know, go with the soft ones if you can, obviously. This, bar of soap. Lots of bars of soap and shampoo. Again, whatever fits you. What's that stuff that we like, the natural stuff that you buy lots of, the big bottles? Is it Murphy's or something? Mm, I think it is. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. We have a lot of this stuff where we make our own soap and such. But whatever you use, I guess that's what it comes no, down Dr. to. Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Dr. Bronner's. Bronner's. Oh, that's... Murphy's like a cleaning oil. Yeah, I was like, this is That's what right. I shower with, cleaning oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but whatever you use... Just stock, stock, stock a lot of it up. I mean, even like toothpaste, I think people tend to overlook and not remember toothpaste. We found some on clearance, or on, yeah, on clearance mm -hmm. and got it for a fraction of the price. We bought tons of it. We did. So we always try to keep up and if we go to the store to buy one, we'll buy two just to put extra in our stockpile. And toothbrushes don't last like they used to. No, they don't. As a kid, man, the toothbrushes last forever. I mean, you want to you wanna make sure you guys get toothbrush and toothbrushes because like when you're out and you just, your teeth feel gross, Maybe you can't shower, but if your teeth are gross, you just feel gross. So brushing your teeth makes it all better. Moral of the story is don't shower, just brush your teeth. <laughs> batteries. Lots and lots and lots of batteries. 
Yes, you cannot have enough batteries, especially if you have a house full of children who like to steal, your batteries. steal batteries. I'm <laughs> telling you, they come all the time for batteries. So we buy them in bulk all the time. And lots of packs of bulk. This one, it amazes me. This is one of the best places to get them is Best Buy. Mm -hmm. I've said this so many times. But if Best Buy, if you go on their webpage, they actually have a deal a day. And like once a month or so, they'll actually have their giant packs of double A's and giant packs of triple A's so inexpensive. And uh, I'll just, I'll click on it and order like eight packs at a time of each yeah. and have them shipped to our house. I don't I think these came from our local hardware store Menards, but we always buy them in bulk like this. And we mentioned before, just keep them cool, like in the basement or in the refrigerator and they'll last a long time for you. Obviously. They're not you know, name brand. Yeah, That's exactly. Okay. I never buy, I don't do you buy name brand stuff. I never do. Almost never do anyway, because yeah. I find that these, I don't know, they seem to last a long time for me. So stock up on batteries. Not even just be these, but like the little watch batteries you might need too. Bundling supplies. Look at this beautiful rope. Once this comes undone, this will never look like this again. Yeah, it'll look like this after. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, rope, paracord, you know, 550 is good. Lots of duct tape. I mean, lots of duct tape. This stuff is amazing how well it works. It is. Bungees, tarps. You know, I've actually heard people say, oh, I never use that stuff. But you know, if you're actually in a place where you know, right now you may be in an apartment or something, may not need it very often, but if you actually are out in the country, needing a shelter, mm -hmm. tied down to your car, or whatever the case may be, this stuff is is like gold. So we pick these up at you know, the stores whenever we go. I'm always fine that I need one, I can't find one, so I actually buy more and have like giant piles we of do. them. We do. And the duct tape too. I buy it by bulk, because you'll never know what you may need this for. Gasoline. Don't you have to be 18 to purchase this stuff? I do not know. I think I am 18. These, this one, Scratch and dent, I guess. Small engine, stay bill for four bucks. I like the stay bill because we're actually going to um, store your gasoline. Mm -hmm. You put this stuff in there and it actually helps keep it so it keeps. So it'll actually yeah. work better. We also buy seafoam. And the seafoam you add to it, it actually helps keep your engine clean too. Because en gasoline, I'll be honest with you, is not meant to be stored for a mm -hmm. long, long term. But having some gas on your property um, and also some of the additives put in there to make them actually your it's gasoline important. work better. It's actually a really good thing to have. Ammunition. And whatever floats your boat. In other words, what kind of gun you may own. Um, for us, we actually have a variety. For example, hunting, because you know there's actually deer in our property and they're very tasty. Uh, for defense, or you know these are bird shots for killing little birdies, because they're very tasty also. Um, you know, or handgun ammo, whatever gun you own or guns you own, stock up obviously in that particular shell or caliper. Obviously, in this case, we have bolts for our crossbows or for the really dangerous stuff. Here's our grenade. It's a dummy grenade, but you know what? We were at a, uh, it wasn't a gun show, but it was like a trade show, military something. trade yeah. show. And they had these cheap and we had to pick it up. You can see it's been filed out, but it's just fun to have an extra fake grenade laying around. At least scare somebody who's trying to break into your house, pull the pin and throw it out <laughs> and watch them run. But anyways, have your ammo. Ammo, amazingly, has actually come back in stock. In a lot of places, yeah. Just make sure when you guys do purchase it, make sure you are purchasing the ammo for your gun that you carry. Absolutely. Uh, you don't want to get 12 gauge if you don't own one, so. And worse comes to worse, too. If you get it for the wrong gauge or whatever, you can always barter it with someone because, again, this stuff will be gold in the future. Paper products. We saw in the news that there's actually a wood pulp shortage, and we were darn well expecting, and probably still expecting, to be a shortage on the good old TP. Um, so I would stock up on that too. You know, we always keep a few mega packs for our big household around. We do. We, I love going to Costco and buying the jumbo packs of paper towel and toilet paper. We'll buy it and it'll last us forever. And then I like my bowls for sometimes for the weekend so I don't have to do dishes. Yeah. And also, if you know, if you have a blackout for a few days and want to just not have to deal with piling dishes on top of the other chaos that are good to have. I would well. definitely recommend having some plates and napkins and stuff because like I said, if there's no water, you can't wash dishes. You don't need at least napkins? you can. Toilet paper. That'll work just as well. It will. It's for when crap hits the fan. Drugs and vitamin. Same thing, whatever you enjoy as far as drugs go. Well, <laughs> over-the-counter drugs, vitamins and such. I mean, this is what I take every day and a lot of it. B12 and some multivitamins and stuff. Uh, calcium. I mean, I'm not recommending to you what to take, obviously. But it, whatever you do take, stock up on it. You know, and I know like Amazon, if that's where you get them from, has that little... I actually deliver, deliver each month, but you need to get a stockpile ahead of time. Yeah, vitamin C too. That's a big one. I oh think yeah, you should have 
and vitamin C. And then apple cider vinegar is a really good thing. There's a lot of things you can do. And then these are electrolytes, things. They're, they're vitamins and electrolytes. Yeah, and electrolytes are huge because are. if you're gonna be out working a lot, not only do you sweat, but you're actually gonna be releasing your electrolytes. You ever like got really sweaty after working out? and your shirt, it looks like it has salt on there after it dries. It is, it's actually your electrolytes actually come through your skin. So you need to actually replenish your electrolytes as well. Cleaning products. <laughs> is it leaking? I might be, I don't know. There's rings on the table. <laughs> yeah, so uh, cleaning supplies, whatever you use. Having the bleach, I think, is that scented? What is that one, Ish? Does uh, it sell? Concentrated bleach. No. Doesn't tell what percent, it's more concentrated it says, however. Yeah, that's the good bleach to have, by the way, especially for sterilizing things. Yeah, you don't want the flavored kind. Yeah. Or scented. Flavored. <laughs> mm. Scented, don't drink bleach. I like that flavor of bleach. Yeah, so actually having the, all the cleaning supplies you need because you really need to be able to sterilize stuff sometimes. And honestly, bleach is the best thing. It doesn't have the longest shelf life, unfortunately, but uh, it does very well in keeping things nice and clean. Canning supplies. Ashley's the canner of the family. She does a lot of canning. Yeah. Where's your uh, All-American? You should have that. Have that I here. know. It sucker's a little big to bring up right now. Uh, I'm the, I like the Mylar person. We actually have like a food saver vacuum sealer mm -hmm. too. But I love our Mylar bags. Like here's some vegetarian beef I made. In 2017, we'll make two pounds of beef. Mm. There you go. Yeah. And of course, oxygen absorbers. And having the Mylar bags for that. Canning supplies where you need, you need jars. Do, jars, and then you can buy the kits along, and then these pots. A lot of your local farm stores will carry these. I think Walmart does too. They're pretty inexpensive. And the lids and rings too? Yeah, um, yeah. most of the stores you can get this stuff. Stock up? Yeah, you can get them at the dollar stores. No, well, not family dollar, no. Dollar Tree, I don't know. The new, the new dollar stores that are popping up everywhere. Dollar General. There we go, that's it. She likes the giant 64 ounce jars. I do, they're really hard to come by right yeah. now. So stock up on this stuff because they're gonna be they're gonna be going. No, this stuff. <laughs> freeze dried foods. We love freeze dried foods, but hate freeze dried foods. Freeze dried foods. I mean, I love the concept, and you get broccoli, but you can get how much is a head of broccoli at the store? Mm, it's like a dollar ninety nine, but you get normally two big heads. So this wasn't a dollar ninety nine. No, that was not a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> and what is this? Mango? I don't no, know what this squash. is. Butternut squash. Yeah. Also not a dollar ninety nine. And we don't necessarily subscribe to Thrive Life or try to endorse them or like mm -hmm. Augustine Farms. Yeah. We have a bunch of their we stuff have, too. Yeah, we have a combo of everything. Yeah, if we come across something we want to get, we'll just go ahead and get it. Um, I, I'm not saying I absolutely recommend freeze-dried foods. If you actually know how to do canning and stuff, my, that's my recommendation. Mm -hmm. But however, something that we do have, we didn't grab, was powdered milk. Yeah, we do yeah. have that. We have it in singles and we have it in bigger sizes. And that's actually, that's gold, but that's expensive too. It is. Oh my gosh. Or so if you can money. find it. Yeah, so freeze-dried stuff, if you're a freeze-dried kind of person, uh, go for it. But we like we like canning and Mylar bags and stuff more than that. But freeze-dried foods is what most people choose, I think, or a lot of people, I should yeah. say. Light sources. Light sources. Yeah, for every one of our kids got one of these. Yeah. Um, this one actually is almost dead. These things are so bright. They are. But the kids love using them. And we bought them in case we have a blackout because we get blackouts a lot here. Um, but obviously they've been using them up and having flashlights, headlamps, especially fumbling around in the dark. Candles. Shabbos candles, if you celebrate Shabbat. Um, obviously for me, I've mentioned this before too, is candles. Yeah. We like going to a yard sale and they always have their half melted <laughs> candles in a giant box. For the next always, I get so excited. He does. He loves his, his melty candles. And Michigan is the land of yard sales. It I is. mean, everybody has yard sales, but up here, you'll see, I'll actually show some videos of them this summer. They have festivals around here, and every time they have festivals, they have giant yeah, yard neighborhood sales. yard yep. sales with lots of candles. Yep. So I stock up in a lot of that stuff. And obviously I recommend anything as far as lights go to be able to keep illuminating your house. Bonus, liquor. Not trying to tempt anybody who may be an alcoholic or anything, but liquor is a really good thing to have in your house, especially when it comes to Woodford Reserve bourbon. Where'd all this go? Oh, we must have like know. dressed up wounds of that or something, Maybe. I'm not sure. But liquor, Besides drinking, even though it actually has a lot of medicinal uses to it, actually has a lot of the uses to it for sterilization. Let's see. This one is 80 proof, good yeah. enough to clean surfaces if you want to use it for that. Clean wounds. Yeah, I make tinctures out of it. I make vanilla, homemade vanilla out of it. Yep. Yeah. And I make, well, nothing special with that except maybe just in a glass. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there you go. There's your 15 
plus liquor um, items that you should hoard. Again, not hoard from the store, but you should hoard and have massive amounts of this stuff. And guys, we're not being naive. There are so many other things that could add to this, but that's our 15 things. So I'm going to ask you to continue on our list now. Maybe we'll make a part two of this video. Mm, that'd be good. What would you add to this? What's 15 more things you should hoard besides these 15 things in liquor as well? I already called liquor, so you have to kind of figure something else. All right, thanks for watching and uh, for commenting and being part of our uh, prepping, channel. prepping channel. And we appreciate it. And go ahead and follow along in this next video, and we'll see what other kind of prepping things we can do.